Hello and welcome back to Loretta's Friends Garage. I am Chris and today I'm going to answer your question. Is this Evolution Power Tools saw worth it? One thing we believe in in the Reckless Friends Garage is transparency. Full disclosure, Evolution Power Tools sent me this saw. I'm not being paid to make this review. I wasn't even told or asked to do a review. They just said, hey, here's a saw, do what you want with it, have fun. If you buy anything from Evolution Power Tools website, type in RWG5 at checkout and you will get a little discount on it. Um, and it also shows them that you watch our channel and kind of helps us out in the long run. Let's get into this. This saw that I have here today is the S355CPSL and luckily I'm not reviewing the product name because that kind of sucks to say, uh, but the saw is outstanding. Chris has another Evolution Shop saw, it's one level up from this. This one in particular just has a lighter duty base and it doesn't have a little catch basin, otherwise all the main features that you want is in this saw right here. This metal cutoff saw solves all those issues with your abrasive chop saw and is a hundred times better. The three key things that you need to know about this, speed, power, and accuracy. In the speed department, the rate at which this thing cuts metal is insane. You are going to save so much time over your abrasive chop saw, you're going to kick yourself wondering, why didn't you get one of these sooner? Here's a video cutting some two inch quarter wall DOM in real time, it's not sped up anything like that, and you can see how quick this goes. So yeah, it has about 12 seconds to cut that. I don't know if that would ever get old. <laughs> like, I would be perfectly fine cutting tube all day with something like this. If you were to do that with your abrasive chop saw, it is going to take at least three to four times longer. The power department, the very first time I plugged this saw in and I turned it on, you could feel it right away in your hand that this thing has got some juice behind it. You feel the power. <laughs> Accuracy is the next huge thing that is really going to blow you away with this type of saw. Any one of you that use an abrasive chop saw, as you know, when you're cutting it, that abrasive disc, it flexes and it is almost impossible to get a 90 degree cut. This saw cuts nice and straight. You don't have to go back and try and retouch up your cut and make it straight or anything like that. Like, and you don't have to go back over it with a grinder and a flap disc, which saves you time and bolsters that time department that we talked about earlier. The speed, power, and accuracy of this saw is what makes me want to recommend this to anybody. If you're a hobbyist, a professional, anything like that, you're gonna love this saw. There's also some little nice features added into the saw that I really like. It's got an awesome D-ring handle with a trigger that the button is just, it's awesome, I love it. The fence adjustment is really nice, nice big handle, spring loaded so you could adjust it where you need to after you lock it down. So if it's in a weird position, just put it over there. Now it's out of the way. The wheel where you will tighten your material against the fence, it's nice, oversized and heavy duty and it works outstanding. A nice little touch the saw comes with is this adapter plate. So if you are cutting a lot of tubing, it helps it really made up and adapt to the surface and secure it for a nice quality cut. This saw is an absolute game changer in the shop. It is gonna save you time and money but don't just take my word for it. I reached out on Instagram to see what other people who own these things have to say, and check this out. So to answer everyone's question, is this saw worth it? Hell yes it is. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments down below. If you're gonna buy one of these things from the Evolution Power Tools website, use code RWG5. And until next time, stay reckless. with a trigger that the button is just, it's awesome, I love it.